What's up, guys? King Bemo TV here for the penultimate? No. No, I don't know. I'm going to do a couple more of these, not many, and then I'm going to do the artifact draft when that when that comes out next week. Uh, so, yeah, like, subscribe, do the stuff. Really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Valley Might Caller is cool. Nice green card. And then we have Osteomancer Adept Squirrely Squillersons. Uh, I'm going to take the Valley Might Caller. We could pass these black cards to the left. There's a cash grab. Valley Might Caller is good in all the decks. So if you're green, it's good. We'll take it. It's very powerful. Really great card. This card's good on turn one, but it's even good later. And that's like pretty rare for one drops. So let's take it. All right, pack two. We have Drift Gloom Coyote. That's pretty good. Three Tree Root Reaver Patchwork Banner. Maybe down one ambusher if you really want to go that way. Um, you know, Drift Gloom Coyote is cool. And then we'll just kind of put ourselves in rabbits. And I don't know if I want to jump into rabbits right away. I think I'll take the patchwork banner and just kind of leave our options open, right? This should be good in all of our decks. So let's take it. Pick three. We have an overprotect. We have a three tree scribe and a three tree root reaver. Root? I always say root reaver. Root Weaver. This is the hardest card to pronounce in all Magic's history. Don't at me. Three Tree Root Weaver. Not Tree Tree, not Root Reaver, but Root Weaver. Okay, sorry guys. Um, any of the green cards I think are pretty good here. I haven't cast over Protect enough, so I'm going to take that. Um, that's not a great reason to take the card, but it's also, it's good in all the decks, right? Whereas Three Tree Scribe is only really good in frogs. We also have a Carrot Cake here. Three Tree Weaver is fine, but I'll take over Protect here. All right, so no good green cards in this pack. I mean, High Stride's fine, but it's not a card I'm gonna take here. Jolly Gerbils is cool. Flowerfoot Swordmaster is also cool, but Mice and Mice is red, white. So what do we take here? Crumb and get it, maybe. Jolly gerbils, maybe. I guess we'll take the gerbils. Uh, short bow, treetop sentries. Not a great pack. Treetop sentries is probably the best card in the pack for us. But. Nothing really great. Treetop Sentries is good in squirrels, but otherwise it's not really great. Uh, okay, another not so great pack. Daring Wave Rider is pretty good. If we end up green black, sorry, green black, green blue. Dewdrop Cure is cool. I had this in one of my videos. I actually, I think I drafted two. I ended up playing one, but I was green white and it was very good in my deck. So does that mean I'm going to take it here? No, it doesn't, but maybe. I'll take the Wave Rider. I'll keep our options open here. Even the black card would have been an okay. Whoa! Okay, yeah, I think I should have taken the black card, um, the Nocturnal whatever. So that would have been good. But I didn't. I took the Wave Rider. So Saver or Eddie Mercrab, really good. Uh, I don't know. I think Saver is better, but Eddie Mercrab, we already have a blue card. I don't know if that's a great reason. Uh, I'll take Saver. I haven't played Squirrels a ton in this set. Uh, I feel like it's never open. Uh, another not so good pack. So that pack seven was just really, really good for no reason. Uh, this pack's kind of junky. Probably won't play any of them. Pack nine, not pack nine, pick nine. Dire Downdraft, Scales of the Scale, Scales of the Shale. I just can't talk, guys. Uh, yeah, we need a direction. We're just kind of all over the place right now. If we take Dire Down Draft, that puts us in frogs. We don't have any frogs, so I'll take Scales of the Shell. Uh, okay, I think black is probably the way to go. I'm thinking green-black right now, although we're not really squirrely. But we'll take the Glive Dive duo here. Uh, maybe we blue-black. I don't know. This is kind of weird. Uh, we'll take the Down Draft here. Thought Shucker, or high, I guess High Stride's a little better. All right, so TLDR on that pack, 
Wow, look at this pack, guys. Um, we have three, two and a half good green cards, two good black cards, one good white card. But we're going to take this Maha. Maha, it's Feathers Knight. It's five mana, six, five, flying, trample, ward, discard a card, creatures your opponents control, base toughness, one. Yeah, this card's really, really good. Fecund Green Shell is also really, really good. Vine Root Mentor is also really, really good. Uh, we're going to take the Maha here. Mythic Rare. I have not cast this card, this format, where I've cast the other ones more than enough. So we'll take Maha. I think we're definitely black now. Um, we got to figure out our second color. Probably green. I guess we'll see how much squirrel stuff we get. But I'm excited to cast that card. Yeah, so probably black, green, maybe blue, black, as blue, black kind of appears open. I think white might be getting the boot here. Oh, another Valley Might Caller. That would be cool, but I think Season of Gathering is just better. I actually don't even know what this one does. 1-1 one, one counter on a creature you control. It gains Vigilance and Trample. Choose an artifact or enchantment. Destroy all permanents of the chosen type. Draw cards equal to the greatest power among creatures you control. Yep. Although I'd really like to have two Valley Might Callers, I think that could be really fun. Um, you know, you play one on turn one. Then on turn two, you play another. And then turn three, you play a creature. Pumps both of them up. You just blow out your opponent. That sounds really fun. But let's take Seething of Gathering. Two cards I've not used in this format, so that's exciting. That makes this draft a lot more fun for me. So we are green-black, but we're not really squirrely. Uh, Baker's Bane Duo is really good. I really like Baker's Bane Duo. I think it's probably one of the cards that surprised people the most in this set. It's just it's so good. It just It's so useful in every deck. Um, or I could take the High Spine Wolverine. But I'm going to take the Baker's Bane Duo. Keep our curve a little lower because it looks like we're pretty good. On the top end already, so. Uh, Longstock Brawl, easy pick. Nothing else is great. Uh, you know, this card early winter, I don't know if I've even cast this card, this format, which is pretty crazy. Um, but honestly, I don't know if I have. I need to, I'm need. i going to check. I'm curious. But Longstock Brawl, I think our deck just got really good. It was like nowhere to be found in the first pack, but now I think our deck is very strong. Uh, this pack is not helping, though. Uh, Ravine Raiders, okay. Fountain Port Bell's okay. I think Fountain Port Bell's like a little better in these green decks, right? Because you want to fill your library. But we're actually not doing any squirrel stuff at all. I don't think Weardown's a card you can... No, it's not a card you can play. I guess we'll take the Ravine Raider. Okay, a Glive Dive Duo, a Three Tree Scribe, or a Druid of the Spade. I think we'll take the Three Tree Scribe. Which is just going to be a 2 mana 2-3, I think, in our deck. But I think we'd rather have that than another 5-drop. So let's take it. Uh, another Longstock Brawl is fine. I don't know if we have any creatures in our deck, but we have... Uh, otherwise, it's pretty good. Life Creed Duo, Scales of the Shale, Pathmaker. Yeah, we only have 7 creatures of our 14 playables so far. I don't think I want to play 2 Scales of the Shale. <laughs> But let's take it. It's the only card semi-playable for us. We tabled Vine Reap Mentor, guys. That is great news. And take out the trash. I'd even play Gateblade Assassin. I'm a big fan of that card. But yeah, Vine Reap uh, Mentor is amazing. We, we are essentially doing no squirrel stuff, though. We just have treetop sentries uh, for foraging. Nothing here. Um, yeah, I'm going to just take... I just took a Bellowing Crier to pass a red, white, and blue card to the right. Although it doesn't really... Yeah. Because I'd want them to be any of those three colors. So I, I basically took the worst card in the pack. The worst of the two blue cards in the pack. Well, not necessarily, right? Because Bellowing Crier is better in frogs than the other one. I don't know, guys. It doesn't matter. I'm taking Thor Plate uh, Intimidator here. Uh, this is a so solid card. Solid card. Not the best, but solid. We'll take the Pearl of Wisdom here. Waxwing Witness. All right, 16 playables, one pack left. Look at this. Camellia, three mana, three, three menace. Other squirrels you control have menace. Whenever you sacrifice one or more foods, create a squirrel, pay two forage, put a one, one squirrel, one, one counter on each squirrel you control. So if you pay two, 
to forage, you sacrifice a food, you make a 1-1, one, one, and then the other thing triggers and you put a 1-1 one, one counter on it. Really good card. Curious Forger is really nice too. Saver is really nice as well. Um, we don't have a ton of removal, right? No, we have two Longstock Brawls and Saver, so I guess we're pretty good on that. So, yeah, Easy Camellia. I don't think we'll table Curious Forager, but I didn't think we'd table Vine Reed Mentor, so who knows. Uh, pick two. Bonebine Orator is really nice. It's especially good in squirrels, but we're really not doing that much squirrely thing. Like, we don't have any cash grabs. Um, heaped Harvest is okay as well, especially because our curve's a little high. Or Hive Spine Wolverine, which a card I think I'm definitely lower on than most people. Mm, I don't like how high our curve is, but let's take the Wolverine. Phineas, Bramble Guard Veteran, Sticky Tongue Sentinel. Sticky Tongue Sentinel does have synergy with Baker's Bane Duo and Three Tree Scribe, even Vine Reap Mentor. Yeah, let's take it. I like Bramble Guard Veteran, but we don't have many raccoons, right? Yeah, we only have one raccoon, and that is Baker's Bane Duo. Both of these cards are playables, but I'm going to take the Sticky Tongue Sentinel here. Wow, wow, wow. All right, three nice cards. Polywop, Thoughtstalker, Warlock, and Valley Rotcaller, but we'll take the Squirrel card, right? Uh, two mana, one, three menace. When it attacks, each opponent loses X life. You gain X life. We're X the number of um, black creature friends. Squirrels, bats, lizards, rats. So we should have an okay amount of squirrels in our deck. Four, that's our fifth squirrel. So our patchwork banner isn't as good as we thought it would be, but it's still pretty solid. Uh, Daggerfang Duo is good. Cash Grab is good. I think we'll take the Cash Grab here. Although, again, I don't think we're super squirrely. Uh, I think it's still still pretty good. Hopefully we don't hit our um, Season of Gathering anytime we cast this. Uh, Head of the Homestead's fine. I don't think I want it, though. Like, I don't want to play four, five drops and a six drop. Um, I could take this... I don't know. Hidden Grotto is good. We could Surveil. I think I'll take the Grotto. We have too many 5-drops. Uh, Treetop Sentries is fine, especially now that we have a Cash Grab. 8th pick, Galwin Moose. All right, our curve continues to get higher and higher. Uh, I don't think I want another Treetop Sentries. I think I'll take St uh, Starscape Cleric. I like this card. It's very good in Bats. It's fine in this case. Heaped Harvest. Yeah, I think we got a deck. We got to make maybe one one cut. 16 cards, 24, 16, not 16 lands, sorry. Maybe seven, it's probably 17 lands. Our curve's pretty high, so. One cut. Ravine Raider isn't exactly thematic of our deck. Um, we have three four drops. We don't have a lot of three drops, which is nice. I think Ravine Raider. Maybe even Scales of the Shell. Let's cut both of them, and let's add in Heaped Harvest. Heaped Harvest is a food. It's good with foraging. It helps us ramp up. I think it checks all the boxes. 16 green and 8 swamps. Let's add a swamp and let's, re sorry, remove a swamp and add a forest. Yeah, I think this is our deck. We have one combat trick. We have three removal spells, plus Maha, plus Season of Gathering, and Camellia. This deck's pretty good, I think. It's not super synergistic, but I think it's pretty, pretty darn strong. Six squirrels plus uh, Camellia, the Squirrel Lord, so I think Patchwork Banner pretty much always be on squirrel so that's our deck i'm happy with it all right playing norbert uh... all right we have all our expensive cards uh we cannot keep this unfortunately all right this hand looks better not perfect but better 
we're pitching a swamp instead of a forest because we have a lot more green cards in our uh, deck than black cards. White, white, huh? All right, let's play the rock caller here. Let's hope it doesn't get killed right away. Are they just stuck on two lands? We don't need the block here. All right, I kind of want to cast the long stock brawl here, but not that much. Because they might have crumb and get it, right? All right, we got some game here. Let's play this treetop sentries. Now we get a trigger on this thing. All right, just in time. So now we can start mowing down their creatures with long stock brawl. Let's do it. Uh, we don't need to gift them a fish. Yeah, I don't think it's necessary. Alright, let's attack here. Then we'll play our Heaped Harvest. Alright, we have probably no more lands left in our deck, right? Four, five, six, seven, plus the one on the bottom of our library. It's eight. Because we have so many heavy drops, I guess we'll just draw for our turn. Part of me wants to sack heaped harvest at upkeep. Four, five, six. So if we do that, we'll be able to cast any card that costs five or less. That would mean no Galwin Moose, no Season of Gathering. Yeah, I think we'll... I don't want to risk it. Alrighty. Let's, uh, let's kill some rabbits, guys. This time we will do the plus one, plus one counter. Swing. So we're not really that far ahead, right? Because our opponent has six cards in their hand. And, you know, our board's obviously better. We have more health, but, you know, a couple good cards. They play a 4-4, four, four, we're in trouble, right? Blacksmith's Talent. Okay, that's a good one. Byway Barterer. Okay. Sack the Heaped Harvest. Guess we're going to Swamp. Uh, Alright, uh, I think we'll just attack with our 3-4 here. I'm fine with that trade. We'll go into full control just so they know we don't have a land in our hand. Or assume we won't have a land in our hand. We have not drawn a card that costs more than three right now, which is kind of a bummer. Cash grab is good. Take our Maha here. Now we can attack. All right. Uh, 
guess we'll just pass. So Maha again makes their toughness of their creatures one. Ward is discard a card, six five flying trample. Not very easy to kill. You could have Banishing Light. That would be uh, two cards for that. Take out the trash. Okay. Still on a two turn clock here with our 6 5 flying trample. We didn't mill any cards with any lands with cash grab. It's kind of a bummer, right? Uh, okay. That's good. Our deck's good. Um, I mean, there's a scenario in which they cast Wrath here, right? Probably very unlikely, but I'm gonna pass. Could be wrong, right? They play Banishing Light here, but yeah, I think we got the dub. Three mana up. Okay. Our deck took a while to get there, but eventually performed. Right, Zen, Zen's, Zen's 55. Oh, do we have to mulligan again, guys? We do. Sad. Uh, this sounds good. I think I'll cut a land. It's very rare for me to do that, but I think we have the, we have what we need to make this work. Uh, what do we want to do? Rock hauler, probably? No. Yes. 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 Because it's not that good, right? I've never seen this card be like that good. Be like, oh my god, this rock hauler is wrecking me. Like, I've never seen that happen. So if we draw a land here... We'll definitely scry away another land with Hidden Grotto. Okay. Let's play the duo. Grotto. No. All right, I'm glad I pitched away the land. That was definitely the right play. So we'll play sentries, sack the food. The opponent does nothing. All right. Main phase. Squirrel gets pumped up. Valley Might Caller triggers for an additional creature. Another land. They're going to take six here. God, nothing? They have nothing? Okay, Flood Caller. This card's really good. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, blue creature and friends get plus one plus one, untap them. Really cool card. It'd be much scarier to attack now, assuming they have mana up. I was gonna say, they need two non-creature spells to kill our tree type centuries here. Okay. All right, we take six. All right. 
right. Uh, I'm going to play Cash Grab. Uh, we're going to take Maha, of course. Play the Scribe. Attack with a 3 3. Okay. Maha next turn. Okay, I mean, they might have a counter spell, right? But what do we do, guys? I'll just assume they don't have it, right? It's not that common to play those counter spells. Oh, they do have it. Okay. All right, it's a bummer. Fine with that trade. Our Valley Rock Caller gets a little worse, which is a bummer, but. All right, can we bring back Maha? I don't think so. Just looking through our library here, we cannot. Wow, nice deck. Okay. Genius to see something weird is going on. Take three. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, put a loyalty counter on this. Create a one-one blue-red otter with prowess. I am confident this will work. Right? Is that a second main phase? They just did that. That was loose, right? They missed out on a point of damage. Together we can shift the current. Draw three cards, then discard two cards. Okay. Uh, all right, we could safely attack here we could lose our rot collar but we could definitely attack with the three tree scribe i don't think the ultimate is a concern here so i think we just go face here play heap harvest i'll keep the land in my hand Bird. Taking the flood caller, cool. Now whenever they cast a non-creature spell, their creatures get really big. But they need to have one as well. So one spell, if they cast a non-creature spell here, this will get plus four, plus four. We're like this could be like lethal. <laughs> That's so much damage we're gonna take here. I can invent my way to victory. Just we'll sack this now so we don't have to wait for every trigger. Oh, that's fun. Three tree describe triggers. Right. A little, that's a little late to the party. Um, I think we attack here. Trading with the flood callers, pretty fair, I think. Okay. I said this is good on later turns, right? But not great right now. So we still have Galwin Moose and Hive Swine Wolverine and Season of Gathering, all which would have been been excellent draws. Even Glive Dive Duo can be really good right now. Treetop Centuries would be really good now. 
Thorn Plate, Intimidator, Camellia. We just need to draw one of our kind of more expensive cards. Sticky Tongue Sentinel would even be pretty good. So, Overprotect, Starscape Cleric. I mean, most cards in our deck would be pretty good right now. Not everyone, but most of them. That's if we're not dead here, right? Which we could just be dead here. Okay, probably not now, but I guess we're dead to it. We're probably dead to a shore up. Did they miss? They did miss. Double miss. Nice. They should have drew some cards of Rowl. Oh, no, they did, right? Yeah, they did. Okay, nice. They're playing defensively. I guess I sack the food here. Okay, I guess I don't. All right, another land, which is fun because, you know, we needed our ninth land. You know, that's what I was just saying to myself. I really hope we draw our ninth land. All righty. I think we're dead, guys. Pretty good deck this guy had. Yeah, I guess I shouldn't have played the Maha. I think, you know, at some point we have to, right? Because they do have the Otters, right? So like all their sorceries are instants anyway, so they could really play defensively. Um, so yeah, I, I don't think it would have made a world of difference, unfortunately. Down a game. Mana burns. Not anymore, it doesn't. All right. We don't mulligan this time. That's fun. We are on the draw, though. Although we mulliganed last game, but we did... I guess we drew pretty well early, and then we just kept drawing lands, so... You know, the problem is when you play 30 lands in your deck, you draw a lot of lands. Alright, so we got the black green mirror here. Do I want to cast Starscape Cleric or Cash Grab? I think Cash Grab is probably better. We could play this later. We could play it on turn. Wow. Uh, it's probably the raccoon, right? Which is a squirrel, so we get a food, right? play probably our own heaped harvest here I think and then we have five mana next turn maybe for double starscape cleric treetop sentries is kind of a bummer right this is seven to kick this all the way yeah, let's play uh, the Batman. The Batman. All right, we just got to gain a bunch of life and kill him. We got two bats in play, two rats in our hand, and two squirrels in our hand. Wow, they attacked. 1-3 Death Touch. Let's play Mentor. Create a food, and then I'm going to Long Stalk Brawl. Kill the Harbinger so we can attack. Gonna cast over protect. Feed this cycle. Okay, the cycle's been fed. I don't 
really want to play Banner here. Baker's main duo doesn't really do anything. I think I'll just sack the Heap Darvist, honestly. I'll gain three life, I'll get a land, they lose two life. Seems like a good use of my mana. Now this is really a mirror match here, huh? Uh, we don't have one of those. Ouch. Now we're taking big damage. Taking seven. We go to 11. Sack this puppy. We get a forest. They lose some life. Alright, double thorn plate intimidator here. Sacrifice a non-land permanent. Wow, they just just taken all that damage. I would have thought they maybe sacked a food token. All right, fell. All right, Mister Aggressive. Six, seven, eight, nine. All right, fine. We'll take nine. All right. We got another land, guys. Isn't that great? Isn't that great news? All right, I guess I'm playing this on bats, man. That's how we're going to win this game. We're going to bat up. Sort of regret saying bat, but you know, I think it's okay. They're at six, we're at 11. We got more food to gain more life, make them lose more life. All right, four fours, tough. Lock here. I think we, I guess we keep our 1-1. One, one. No, it's not making much of a difference. And that 5-5 five, is a little bit of a problem. Come on. Oh. Okay. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. I mean, we're not dead yet. I mean, I don't think we're dead yet. You know, whenever you sacrifice a permanent target player, mills two cards. Eight. Oh no! So once a turn, right? Okay, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we're still alive. I think we should do this too, right? Okay. What would be a good draw? 
Are we alive now? I don't think we're alive. I think if we saved one of those foods, we might be alive. Yeah, that's a bummer. That's a that's a bad rip, man. That's a problematic rip for us. Because we are not we can't get any extra squirrels here. We could just make Camellia really big. Because we just sacked our food. That sucks. Well, if we forage here, we wouldn't be able to gain the life anyway. So yeah, we, we lose. Too bad. Okay. Only one two. I think this deck's way better than one two. I don't know. Is it? Maybe it's because I'm getting flooded every game? All right, this one's a capable hand for sure. We got our cash grab to get our third land. We got patchwork banner. We got our star player Maha. Should be good. Should be good. I'm so bad at casting hidden grotto on turn one. I keep I keep the card 100% of the time. Like no matter what it is, I'm like, I'll keep it. <laughs> you know, like like I can see some use for this. Like I really want to land, but All right. Uh swamp. All right, perfect. I don't love either of the other two cards anyway, so All righty, cool. So we might have a turn 4 Maha. I don't know if we want to we want to turn 4 Maha, but um We could, we could play it. Long River Lurker, look at this guy. Three colors, no fixing, no problem. So I think we'll play Treetop Sentries and Long Stalk Brawl next turn. Maybe draw out some removal before we bring out the Rock Caller and the Maha. We will forage. land uh, do we need a 4-6 I think a 4-6 sounds pretty awesome actually we don't need it but 4-6 is that's a that's a big booty man that's not easy to kill tree guard duo see big booty look at I can block that I can block that still scary to block that 5-6 though. It's like, ooh. Um, I guess it's time for Maha, right? Do we attack first? If they attack, they'll definitely just take it and go to 16. Yeah, let's attack. Long River Lurker, Tree Guard Duo. It's a little scary. Because they could have um, Sticky Tongue Sentinel and go like infinite. Maybe. I don't know. Not easy to kill. Not that hard to kill, though. The ward is nice. So I was hoping the 4-6 would draw out that removal spell, but... God, they have three food tokens in play? Oh, good, another land. Thank God. Uh, this is a 2-4. I don't know, should we keep racing them? Maybe we shouldn't, maybe we should just chill. Yeah, they have so much food, I think maybe we just chill. Although, if we do attack, 
they're more likely to attack back. Then we could attack with our Valley Rock Caller, but right now it's just drain for one anyway. All right, just, just go, I guess. God, I hope we win this game. I'm gonna go one three with this deck. It's pretty disappointing. We didn't even get to play our season of gathering. Although I feel like if we draw a season of gathering here, we just win. I mean, the guy's obviously drawing well. If he goes turn two Vinery Mentor, turn three Long River Lurker. <laughs> oh, man. Cool. I guess we'll play a land. You can count on that always. You can always count on hitting every land drop. He's got Shoreline Looter to squeak past everybody. If we could just draw like any other creature, I could pretty much attack with treetop sentries, although not really, not not now. S the saver help me. It does. It does help me. All right, let's attack with treetop sentries. If they triple block, we can kill their fish and kill tree guard duo. Do it, do it. You probably don't do that because like I didn't attack with it last turn, right? So now something, something should have changed. Although killing the shoreline looter, just you know, saying go wouldn't be that bad either. But this like really opens it up, so I get attacked now. So, are you serious, dude? I can't catch a break, man. Just cannot catch a break. Oh god! All right, I think we just lose now. Which is fun. It's exciting just to go one three. Love going 1 3. I think we draw another land here. I'm surprised they didn't loot away the Fountain Port Bell. Right? I don't know. Is that right? I guess it's not. No, it's not right. No, what they did is right. Okay. Not a land. Gelwin Moost, Season of Gathering, Treetop Sentries, Thornplate Intimidator, Camellia, Sticky Tongue Sentinel. So many cards that would be pretty good. We'll take one. All right, I think I'm going to sack the Heaped Harvest here. Just reduce the chances of drawing a land just by a smidge. You know, we could draw something like Camellia and regret that, but... That's about it. It's really just Camellia. And the, this guy's playing Tempest Angler. Like, well, why are we losing to this deck? Tempest Angler is probably f it's fine in blue red, but this guy's playing the blue red spells in a squirrel deck, and we're losing to it. Like, isn't our deck good? I don't know, like, I think our deck is good. We're just getting flooded like literally every game. So they have Eddie Merkrab here too. 
So we're just dead next turn, I think. Yeah, I think we're just dead next turn. I don't, I don't think we could draw anything. All right, and we're gonna sack Keep the Harvest and hope. I mean, if we draw Camellia, we're still in good shape, but. Okay. It's not a land, right? So when they cast, if they cast Eddie Merc Crab here, main phase, they could target our two creatures. We play over protect. They don't really go anywhere. So that does buy us a turn. God, it just costs three too. So it's a pretty big, pretty big uh, swing for us. Right now they'll probably just attack with the one one. Whereas the other way we were dead. But I think we need we need Camellia or Season of Gathering. I don't think anything else will really be enough. Maybe actually. Just crazy card advantage for them. I think they've drawn five more cards than us. I'm going to keep the food just in case we draw Camellia. All right. Fun game. Fun game. Really fun. <laughs> Set's almost over, guys. All right, we're going to scoop. Cool. So two two really fun drafts in a row. All right. We, we had a fun... Uh, I don't know. What did I play last? What was the last deck? What was yesterday's video, guys? Oh, we were we were red. I think we were red white. Yeah, red white. I don't know, guys. I think this deck was good. It wasn't OP, but it was pretty good. I think we draw in a different order a couple of these games. We're in way better shape. Never saw Season of Gathering, never saw Galwin Moose. At least we saw Mahawk almost every game. So I guess I can't complain about that, but Yeah, I don't know. Looks good, just didn't didn't perform. Did not perform. You know, three tree um, if three tree scribe isn't here and valley sorry and starscape cleric isn't here and they're replaced by Baker's Bane duos or Vine Reap mentors, definitely a better deck. If um, yeah, maybe if Glive Dive duo is a cash grab, we'd be a better deck. So. But we just didn't draw very well and got unlucky. And that's best of one on Arena, guys. So thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. And, um, yeah, I'll see you guys in Monday's video. See you later.